Yeah, they danced to Benny Goodman and his band. I bet they had their favorite singer and a very special song that floated through the moonlight in the night. He asked her for her hand.
gentlemen. Thank you, Vince. Now, I do believe that trademark is just about to expire, like in the next week or two, so I'm just getting around to the gun there. So they haven't sued me yet. We'll see. Somebody else could sue me for this one. Uh, this was uh, based on a J.D. Salinger a short story from his Nine Stories book. I was in the Philippines uh, creating a record with a friend of mine, uh, Butch Rojas, uh, a great jazz and flamenco guitar player I got to work with for a while. And um, uh, we went to the studio and literally wrote the album in the studio, which is kind of expensive, but not quite as expensive. It's going all the way to Manila to record the album in the first place. But the, um, uh, I was still on East Coast time, which meant I was up throughout the night while everybody else was going back and falling asleep. I was wide awake. Right? And uh, I, I found in a bookshelf uh, J.D. Salinger's Nine Stories. I don't know if you're familiar with this short story collection, but it's some of the greatest American writing ever. Uh, a brilliant, brilliant uh, group of short stories. One of them is Esme, uh, in the time of uh, love and uh, squalor. Anyway, so this is basically stolen from him, but he's not around anymore, so maybe he won't sue me. Yeah. 
I think we did 37 years the other day, as it was our anniversary. And uh, um, before that, uh, we're together about six years before we got married. So we've been together for almost half a century, which is kind of frightening to me, um, but also quite wonderful. Um, I'm not really the romantic type, which is kind of, I think, surprising, considering that I'm like this songwriter that sings about love a lot and stuff like that. But when it comes to like, you know, I don't know, buying the flowers and remembering an anniversary and all that stuff, I'm really good at it. My wife is awful. She's never remembered a single anniversary, so I can get off on like, okay, I just need to get flowers and, you know, it's still like a celebration. But for our 30th, we went to Paris. I'd never been to Paris before. Um, and my wife used to, in high school, speak French. It's amazing how retention of language doesn't happen. Um, so, uh, so we went over and stumbled around trying to mumble in French to people, and, and uh, I, I noticed this bridge on the way to Notre Dame um, was covered with locks, master locks, and, all right? and they're all, I mean, to the point that they have to go at night and cut them off because they weigh so much, it's destroying the bridges. And all these little locks, all up and down the sides of these bridges, have people's inscriptions in them. Sometimes it's just a Sharpie, you know, with a heart, and you know, Reese loves Pamela, you know, R plus P, right, and a heart, like we did in high school. Um, sometimes, actually most of them, are engraved. And so the idea is you take this lock, and you put it on the fence, and you say, our love is forever, it will never die, and we take our, and we throw our key into the river, it probably gets poisons of, you know, a sea bass or something later on, but, it's still, it's all for the good of love. Anyway, so this is a song that I reacted to uh, that trip with. It's called Of Locks and Lovers. Because when I come into a really beautiful situation, I always try to figure out, how could this go wrong? Arkansas, right in the Oklahoma line. And I was raised in New York City, 
and Massachusetts, and uh, uh, would go back occasionally to visit Arkansas. And I was, um, I was, I was, as I went to bed at night as a little boy, my mother told me wonderful stories of the tornadoes that used to level houses in her neighborhood, and all the friends she lost in middle school, and how, as a New Yorker, I should be thankful that I didn't live there in Tornado Alley. That was the kind of family I was raised with. I mean, lawyers who like to scare their children. But anyway, so um, uh, I still have family back there, and they don't really talk so much about the her the, uh, the tornadoes. Although tornadoes still come through, but I mean now we all get tornadoes, right? Remember when we were you know a long time ago? Now, now we get them all the time up here and elsewhere in the country. But what they get a lot of now that they didn't used to get is earthquakes because of all the fracking. And so uh, this is a song about that. It's called Faulkner County Blues.
Bobby King on the drums and Jeff Lynn on the bass. So this is a, a song from um, the last album, which we released in October of 2022. And uh, the album is called Tattletale. And this is a song called Nobody Said. And uh, the tale behind this is brief but interesting. Uh, I had a old shikarine piano that um, I got for free. Somebody just said, hey, if you come pick it up, you can have this baby grand. And I was like, a oh, baby grand piano? This is oh, okay. And so I went and got the piano, and I brought it to the house. And I was having trouble getting it in tune. I had a tuner come, and then uh, he didn't really work out, didn't feel like it. And I got connected with this guy uh, who used to work at Steinway, who came up um, and fixed it, like, like went through and took it apart and fixed it for me. His name is Sal Maneri. I know it sounds like you need antibiotics after he leaves, but uh, he's a wonderful guy, um, great Queens guy, big accent, big guy. And, um, and then he would come in, you know, periodically, every spring and every fall, tune the piano for years. And one day he comes in, I'm like, Sal, how you doing? Sal, you know, nobody said spring was easy. I'm like, Sal, I'm stealing that line. That's going to become a song. And it is, but I gave him a code. So uh, Sal's a wonderful jazz singer also, by the way, and hopefully someday we'll get to sing this on stage together. But this is a song called Nobody Said.
spring weather, you get thunderstorms with these panels. Yeah, it works. Yeah.
library else. Garage door opener. <laughs> yeah. Garage door opener. Well, we didn't get to actually. Let's, let's, let's get back into that, right? Um, from the B section. Well, actually, count me in. Some calling you friends. How 
been up in county for free. And word gets out. Perhaps it was your intention. Oh, friends, look, please. Got it all wrong. So give each dot its connection.